Okay, we are very, very happy to be joined by Smiley Harriet today. Um, she's smiling, smiling now because it's almost bedtime for her, I think. Um, so Harriet's been working with us for about seven or eight months now. Yeah, end of January. Crumbs, yeah, yeah. So um, again, you know, it's great to see that someone hasn't just come in and and left you know we do tend to keep people a long time which is great but it'd be great Harriet if you can just just kind of talk about what it was like before coming into Brightside like why did you why did you give us a call why did you reach out for help yeah. um so I kind of decided that I did I didn't make news resolutions but I decided generally in 2020 was going to be a year of me doing things for myself so I made like a few changes to my life, started doing like made this hobby, doing having time to do this. And then one of the things I thought about was that I did want to change my lifestyle um, because I was very, very overweight at that time. Um, but it wasn't so much about me deciding I wanted to lose loads of weight. I just wanted to be healthier and to be more active at that point. Um, and um bright side just came up on my facebook and following you <laughs> so i literally just like clicked on it and there was an offer um and i phoned and that yeah made the appointment to come in but um i was literally i was doing like no exercise at all apart from a 10 minute walk to work that was the extent of my physical activity in the week <laughs> how long had you been like like how long had that been your pattern for since so in um i was always very like very very overweight like from in, like from the, my teens onwards and then when i got to about 24 25 i like crash dieted and lost loads lots of weight very quickly um which is always something i was a little bit afraid about doing again made me but um and um, at that time i um started running and i ran the london marathon in 2012 um, but I got injured um, and whereas I was able to like eat what I wanted because I would run like 40, 50 miles a week um, after after doing the marathon, um, my knee was never the same. So like from 2012 to 2020, I pretty much put on everything I'd lost. So I was doing, yeah, wasn't doing anything. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, was that something that you were scared? They say you like that was something you were scared of doing again, like crash dieting, yeah, losing a load of weight quickly. Because I mean, losing weight can be an easy thing mm. to do, but it's that as you know, it's keeping it, it's keeping it off. So that was a bit of a kind of yeah, yeah. Of I, I don't want to lose loads of weight and then put it back on again. Yeah, I was. I think I was. I was quite scared of, of of losing it, and then getting to that point where I had to maintain it because that's what I always found the hardest. And I was also scared of getting like so obsessed with how much like with with it and like losing too much and wanting to lose more and more and more. And um, yeah, so it was more. I wanted a balanced approach to it, and I wanted to be able to exercise, but not to like just spend like hours and hours and hours because I have quite a busy life so yeah. yeah so just for a bit of context in the last what eight months ish how much weight have you lost now um I've lost about seven and a half stone I think amazing. yeah that's amazing um and yeah well, I, can rem I can remember when well, obviously seeing you when you first when you first came in and then I think I didn't see you for a bit and then I was just like crikey like you have done really really well and I know the whole team think what you're doing is is, ama is amazing and we were just talking before we started recording that like you've had new jobs you've got a new job now that's different stress yeah. different challenges you know working in a school during this <laughs> period of time is yeah. is really really hard you've got a lot on your plate but you've well, you've been able to keep a routine go so how have you what's been the kind of like the how, why has it worked basically well, despite everything else that's going on i think um for me like the time that i would so like back in january and february march when i was going to the gym for the group sessions it was like the hour an hour twice a week that was like completely time for me 
so it was for me it was such a great like I was able to just completely focus on what I was doing and it was just like a really nice vibe and I enjoyed it so much but then that started to make me feel like more confident about what I was doing and then I think like Alex said to me like try something new and so we talked about like, we talked about running because I was nervous to run again because of because of my knees yeah yeah but um it was like building up from like walking for half an hour to then eventually I, I was walking and running and then like by I would say May or June I was able to to run 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 for like a, like a couple of kilometers and then it's just like gone on from there because I've just like you know with advice and with help I, it's been it's been built up and you know now like the weekend I'll go out for a 10k and I'm, I'm still very slow but like, <laughs> well, it's, it's speed's relative that really doesn't matter the fact that you've gone from thinking I wouldn't be able to run to then being able to go I'll just go and run a 10k at the weekend that'll be all right you know that's that's uh you know credit real credit to you and like you say a lot of it's about building your confidence mm -hmm. in what in what you can yeah. do and then um, I think as well that like spilled over to every to other aspects of my life because then I went on to apply for a new job which was a big step up for me and um like previously I had been like confidence had been a massive issue so it, it has really helped in those respects as well so do you think then if you hadn't have made the changes and built the confidence you might not have made the same steps or would it have taken you longer um I don't know if I actually I think I would have still been like doing the same sort of things as I've been doing before I don't think I would have changed and um whereas now like I just there's like so many more things that I do and um like so many more, like, like people that I know now and like just like I just there's so much more and it's not just that I like way way less and can get better clothes and that I can run it's like just there's loads of things like um like with the job just like the confidence to actually do what I'm doing, right? Which I didn't have before at all. I mean, that, that's, I mean, we, we love seeing clients lose weight, but it's the, like you said, it's the benefit of it. The mm. fact that you go, right, I can, I can apply for that bigger, bigger role. I can get that promotion and I'm confident doing it. Um, you know, and like you say, it's just that quality of life. Like you, you open mm. up so many other doors, stuff you might say no to, you start mm. saying, yeah, I can do that. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm going to go get after that. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, so what do you think would have happened if you hadn't have started and hadn't have thought, I need to take some time for me and I'm going to, I'm going to get some help. It's really, it's, it's quite tricky because like one as well, like with, um, with the current situation with the mm. pandemic, like, I would have been in a, a highly vulnerable group yeah. if I hadn't if I hadn't lost weight because um, it's a BMI of over forty that is one of the massive risks and so I that was a, like for me that was a huge worry at the beginning because my BMI was a lot over forty so like I remember the point in um, over the summer when I got it down and I was like oh, I'm no longer vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah gosh yeah, yeah. And that, i mean that's the i mean that's the other thing at the moment it is it's at the forefront of a lot of mm. people's minds is is yeah. health is yeah health is really important right now you know i i mean i would have been majorly like at risk and working like like you know around lots of people like i do like mm. again there are, there are more more risks um but yeah if, if if i hadn't have just made those changes i i don't I think I just sort of been just plodding along like with the same old. Yeah, yeah. So it's given you a new lease of new lease of life altogether. Yeah, completely. That's awesome, Harriet. That's yeah. awesome. So I mean, what what's kept you going? Like, why haven't you stopped? I mean, there have been lots of like there have been those, those moments because you've, you've it's not all been plain sailing. I know it's not. <laughs> You know, you've had a few calls with um, Eliza and I know Dave as well has been like looking out for you when it's not yeah. so easy. Um, no, there have been those moments where I've just been like, if I've not been seeing results that like I think 
would be there and there's been times when the scales haven't changed or you know when I've had injuries and when I've just been tired and just fed up with it but like um yeah it's that like personal approach like the phone yeah you know like just having a conversation with somebody and just being able to you know just sort of talk about what's stressing me out and just have the reassurance and um like lately like um um with getting my like with running like I, I I do always go on about it but I've wanted to get quicker um and I had I hadn't been seeing um any changes to my time for a while but then like Dave just changed what I was doing and um yeah I think I've lost like a minute off my time over over September so yeah that's that's been yeah, that's what I've been yeah really aiming for. So. That's brilliant, and I think sometimes you, like you say, you just having someone else there saying well, that that's normal, that's fine, that happens. Let's do this instead, or let's try this. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of like you say, that personal kind of approach. Yeah. And when you're when you're not feeling great, or you're completely stressed, and you just want to sack it all off, yeah. it's having someone else having someone there to go no no we're here we're here to help we're here to support yeah. you and we'll keep moving keep moving you on um so by the time january comes around again mm. what would you what are you kind of are you, what are you kind of thinking you'd like to between now and then is it just more of the same um and just keep that lifestyle yeah going? I mean, I, I did originally, I set loads of goals and it was to do this by this time and this by this time. And then I just deleted them all. Brilliant. I, I was like, I don't want, like, because I'd been putting so much pressure yeah. on myself. And that was being, like, quite negative because I felt like if I didn't lose this much per month, I was, like, not doing a good enough job. Yeah, yeah. But, and so I got rid of all of them. But I do have, like, the ultimate goal for me is to... um to run another marathon so um yeah <laughs> <laughs> and to beat the time that i got last time which you know i got it when i was like what age 24 so it's gonna be quite <laughs> <laughs> you might surprise yourself when they say you didn't think you'd be able to get back running again so there's there's yeah. no and like you say to have the confidence to think well i could do that yeah um, yeah I mean, that's like a long, like a long term goal. That's, that's not that next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to have that because it keeps you in, keeps you going, keeps that process going. And like you say, yeah. taking the pressure off and just going to, if I follow this process, yeah. if I enjoy it and I've got the support I need, mm. I'm going to keep going. And if you keep going, you're going to keep seeing what it is that you, that you want to see. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously before you came in, you were quite, I mean, like you say, your confidence was quite, low how hard was it for you to pick up the phone and then have a conversation because i remember i remember the conversation and like i said to you before this like you you sound you did sound like I could tell you sounded nervous and etc but how did how easy how quick did it take you to kind of feel at ease um i i yeah i do remember it being like it was um i'd like seen the advert and i thought about it and then um it was it was it was like a real like spur of the moment thing i was like i'm gonna do it just do it did it and then yeah on the phone like i did i felt like i, I felt, felt a bit nervous at first but then and when i came in like it was just it was it was very like i felt very comfortable i thought i'd be um i'd be quite worried about being in a group the fact that i couldn't do anything but it wasn't it wasn't like that it was always like you know I'll like help and do this it, it, so it, it's like I could do everything I didn't feel like I was the person that really couldn't do it that's all. brilliant that's, that's great that's that's, you know, that's what we want we want people to come in feel welcome and no matter where someone's at on their journey everyone gets the help and support uh mm -hmm. that they need so what would you say to someone who's kind of thinking about getting some help or maybe a bit scared or they feel like got a massive mountain to climb what you, you've been through it what would be your advice i mean if anyone like if anyone think thinking about if you if you've got that like massive thing hey, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got like you know that hurdle to, to get over and that massive massive goal like it's just you just for me i just just don't aim for it all in one go 
it's about like breaking it all down and I think I've, well I've always said this if if I I don't think it's a particularly like great great thing I'm like if I can do it like absolutely anybody can yeah. it's just just sticking to it and you know it's a it's for me like obviously bright side's been a great fit because it's like I've just had the support I've needed um but yeah it's just I'd say if you if you want to do it just just do it <laughs> do it just do it <laughs> brilliant that's great and i'm really 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 glad that you know we've been able to help and you it's helped you with so many other things apart from just the weight loss and thanks for doing this for us as well i'm just going to stop recording now okay <laughs>